All right, so today is January 25th, 2020. Haven't done a uh, ice fishing video here for a while. I've done some uh, auger tests and stuff, but not uh, nothing any fishing related here for a while. So not saying I haven't been out. I've been out five or six times now and fishing has been really slow, uh, specifically for sturgeon. That's all I've been out for is just chasing sturgeon out on the St. Croix. So um, that's kind of sturgeon fishing, you know? Sometimes you go out and you get into a long streak without catching anything, so. I'm hoping tonight is going to be a little better. Uh, we finally got enough ice where I think we can drive out safely. Uh, it's still kind of, uh, you know, it's not super thick. You know, it's maybe 13, 14 inches. So um, we're going to take the truck out there and get to some spots where we just haven't been able to get to up till now because, uh, frankly, I just didn't feel like walking all that way. So um, I used to have a snowmobile and I have got rid of that a couple years ago. So. Uh, it's either walking or driving at this point, so and I'm kind of at that age where I'm ha I'm okay with that. <laughs> you know, it's it's nice to take the truck out and uh, unload your gear and uh, load up at the end of the night and take off versus uh, doing that several times if you have to walk. So, uh, yeah, I'm just on my way over. We're gonna pick up John and head out to a spot down there on the St. Croix and put some baits down and see if we can't catch a fish. So. Uh, the weather's nice. It's uh, about 32 degrees right now, so uh, I may not even may not even put my bibs on today. We'll see. But uh, here's hoping we get a fish. If not, that's the way it goes. I'll be back again either way. So I just thought I'd put up a video here quick, and hopefully I can get some uh, footage of a nice sturgeon here. If anything, uh, I'll just kind of show what we're doing and how we do it, and and maybe you can get some tips from that. But uh, I hope the next thing you see is us catching a fish or showing how we do it. All right, so I lied. I guess I didn't pick John up. He picked me up. We're gonna take the Jeep out here. We'll try it anyway. Can you give it a shot? Heading out on the little ice road here. They got the gate opened up. That's good news. Looked like there were a few vehicles out there. I think they actually got the road plowed across the river. Yeah. So this road goes all the way across to that side. A little, a little slushy. Yeah, looks pretty bad. Slushy. Guess we're just gonna go for it. Looks like we're headed south tonight. A group of houses down there, one down here. We're just gonna pick a random spot. That's what we do out here. Rigid drill, 10 inch ion. We already drilled one, two, three, four, six holes. We just measured 15 inches of ice, um, so we're just going to do number 7 and number 8 here. Overlap that hole, get a double ten. Good to go. All right, we are set up here. About 32 feet of water. Got the Garmin set at bottom lock. Bottom five feet. Let's see, something came through there. I don't think that was a sturgeon, but we just keep it set at the bottom five feet because then we know exactly something's coming through. You can see John's lifting up right there with his bait. We got. Uh, Four sets of double tens drilled. And today, do something a little different. I'm. Uh, and we're on the Minnesota side, if anybody asks. Yeah, we are on the Minnesota side of the St. Croix River. Show you quick what I'm doing here. So, that's what we're using. Two watt treble hook. I want real minimalistic here. I just put a small split shot on there, just trying to go as small as I can. And a couple little pieces of shiner on there, too. 
drop that down and the bobbers are just used for uh bite detection we're not using those we're not suspending the baits at all but just a uh, detection system john says it's his turn tonight so we'll let him get the first fish but that is definitely not a mud fish puppy on that's crazy we didn't even mark him it's not very big his bobber just started going it may under not be a sturgeon Oh yeah, it's a sturgeon. It's small if it is. What? No, I just got. Oh, uh -oh. damn it! Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> I need more eyelets. <laughs> oh my gosh. We probably need to get some lines up. Yeah. Oh, now you go. There goes yours, dude. Oh, I'm telling you, he's got them all. <laughs> he's got them all. Should have been the first thing we did. Yeah. Oh shit! Just dropped the crawlers. It's decent. Oh, what a mess. What a mess. Oh my gosh. That's fine. Oh man, that's a good start, dude. We haven't even been here 15 minutes, hardly. So I can grab the gill plate and pull them out of the hole with it, but I never supported the whole weight of the fish with right. it. Right, yeah, that's... So that's the key. So yeah, he's tangled in that line. Three different lines. I got lines. that one up, but he's tangled in this one back here, too, so... That's another good tip. If you get hooked up, just bring them all up, because, <laughs> you know... You might as well. All right. Well, that was a cluster, you know what? But yum. Ooh, yummy. It's delicious. Yummy slime. It's the blow bubbles. Shadows. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Nice fish. That was probably a 45 incher. Heck yeah. We didn't measure it, but that's a good start. <laughs> oh, I'm all fogged up. Game on. Game on. Just hooked up. It is Sturge 30. We saw that one come in. Sturge 30. Yeah, we did. That was it. It literally on the on the sonar here. Pull your transducer up. It came up like up to here. I'm on it. <clears throat> this could be a big fish. Cause like I say, the sonar the sonar came up what? Two feet. Yeah, it was big on the sonar. Sweet. There's my bobber stop. Nice. <laughs> I'm a long way away. Oh no. <coughs> I gotta take my coat off. Um, can you hold that for just a second? Oh. Oh, that doesn't oh. count as help. <laughs> I just needed to take my coat off. I'm gonna turn this down. Yeah. This could be a decent <coughs> fish here. It's bigger than the other one. Again, we, uh, we set up away from everybody. Nobody within miles of us. Bubbles. I see bubbles. There he is. Oh, that's a nice one. That's, that's a good, good one. one. There we go. That's good. Yeah. Nice one. That is a nice one. Gonna lose him back down the hole. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> What's going on here? I was just trying to flip them over. <laughs> Try to get the hook out, but we're gonna call that one a 49 inch or almost 49. Nice. That was awesome. Be cool to see him come in. Oh. See if he'll wave a bye bye for us. Wave bye bye. Nice. Sweet. Yeah, we catch a bunch of these little guys too. This is one of the smallest ones I've ever seen. No bigger than my hand. We catch these up to, I don't know, 13, 14 inches. This one's about seven or eight. Pretty cool. All right. I'll let him go. See you later, buddy. 
other way. Your other down. There you go. So I'm not skunked! I'm not skunked! <laughs> Got that one up so quick I didn't even get it on video. Sharp little guys. Yeah, I'm not skunked! <laughs> Be free! Oh, he's going the brown way up the hole. You got it. There he goes. Nice. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Got a screamer. We got a screamer. I had to reel up all the air. Yeah, you better sit down and relax. <laughs> so all we saw on the graph was that little hump on the left. But you can definitely tell there's a hump on the bottom. And it's funny, uh, John said John said heads up, <laughs> so I'm looking around, looking around, I look here, my bobber's under. <laughs> that was awesome. This is a heavy fish. This is a heavy fish. This is number four for the night for us. This might actually be my first entry. Come on, let's <laughs> get it in. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna get some stuff out of the way here while we're... He's fighting that, I'm gonna move rod holders. <coughs> we've gone... One. We've played this game enough times that I know it's better to... take this time to move stuff out of the way. Oh. Oh, bubbles, you got them close. Yeah, I don't, it's not giant, but still, it's a nice it's a fish. Nice, it's a decent one. I think it's bigger than 40. Yeah. We'll get to enter that one. There you go. Yeah. Nice. The mouth grab. Sweet. Turn over. Need those pliers. Those ones are pretty good, huh? Oh. Yeah. Careful. Right. Where did we put those? They're in the pocket in front there, but I think I got it. As long as he doesn't thrash around, we're good. Nice. All right. I am gonna enter that one, I believe, into the fish donkey contest. I believe it's over 40. We're about to find out. Well, don't mind me. You know how I roll. I'm uh, yeah, right. I'm dropping a bait back down while he's doing that. <laughs> We're about to find out. Because there's still a little hump on the graph, so. I'll tell you what, it's not much over 40. Yeah. Go to the end. 43. Yep, 43. All right. Entry for Darren. Go up here. 43 incher. Nice. Let's let him go. Go in here, over here. Oh, is he going to be on your line? Way about I. Nice. All right. Well, we got four fish tonight. It's about 10 30. We're going to pack her up. Pack her up for the night, huh? Yep. I've had enough. My arms are sore. It's a good sign. Oh, of course. Right when you say that. Right when you say that. Look at that. Bottom starts growing. Yeah, who knows? Those look like puppies, though. Yeah, when you see this, uh, you see the separation down here. Kind of comes up, and then you see the yellow below it. It's usually a puppy. These are probably mud puppies right here. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs>